Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome to Open More Toys. I'm James and today we have this awesome Minecraft Play-Doh Surprise Egg. We also have a bunch of cool Minecraft toys. We have this awesome Lego Minecraft playset and a Series 2 toy. So let's take a look at the Lego Minecraft playset first. These are a little new from the Lego and this is sort of the basic starter set. Uh, a small set for ages 8 plus comes with a Steve, a zombie, and a spider. Comes with really some really cool accessories. You can see a cool bunch of cool things that you can build here. And what I went ahead and did was opened it up and built it. I think this is probably one of the better sets from the uh, Minecraft Lego. Well, it's more of like the beginner set. It's only like, I think it was like $25, $20, $25. It's a pretty good set. You get the lava, you get the water, you get three characters, you know, including Steve. And that's pretty cool. So let's take a look at a closer look at our characters. Here's the zombie. And here's the Steve that comes with the set. And he comes with the pickaxe, little mining axe there. And I think it was a really good idea by LEGO to do Minecraft stuff because Minecraft is very, very blocky game and it goes right into Minecraft like Minecraft and LEGOs are the same thing. <laughs> Alright, let's take a look at the spider that comes with it. Spider's a pretty cool enemy mob here. It comes with, you know, it has the eight movable legs and it looks really cool. It looks like the spider from the game. And the set comes with a bunch of accessories. It comes with dynamite, like pails of water, uh, a treasure chest here with a, I guess it's a loaf of bread. So some of the LEGO Minecraft sets run upwards of almost $100 or more. And this one being near the $20-$25, you get a lot for a small little set. Pretty cool. Next we have a Series 2 uh, Minecraft action figure. It's Overworld Steve with diamond armor, so it's Diamond Steve. thought this was a really cool action figure to do from the Series 2 collection. There's some other ones that you can get. There's a Villager and there's an Iron Golem. Now let's go ahead and take a closer look at Diamond Steve here. And here's our Steve character and he comes with a little block here. I think this is Diamond? A Diamond block? If I'm right, let me know in the comments down below. And he comes with an awesome Diamond Sword. Closer look at the diamond sword here. Looks just like it does in the game. It's a good size too. It's almost the size of my pickaxe there on my Play-Doh egg. <laughs> All right, let's take a closer look at Steve here. Get him out of his little package here. And here's Steve with his diamond armor, looking pretty awesome. And his helmet comes off, which is a neat feature. Uh, I wish some of his other armor pieces came off too, but they don't. His helmet does, which is really cool though. I almost thought his boots would come off, like where the diamond plates are, but they don't. And his sword goes right into his hand. The jaggedy parts there, it's very slotted, so it goes right into his hand. And he can still kind of move his arm back and forth, which is neat. For a blocky person, he's pretty poseable. I mean, his arms move, his feet move, and his hip moves, his torso, so he can move left and right. So let's put him into the pose that I have here on the giant egg. So it'll be a, a Diamond Steve and Wriggler Steve there. So there he is next to him. Uh, kind of moving a little closer, so I think I did a pretty good job on the, uh, on the Steve character there on the egg. Well, let me know what you think about this Steve that's completely made of Play-Doh. And here's our Minecraft Hanger Diamond Steve and our Series 2 Toy Diamond Steve. Size-wise, they're just about the same height. Uh, the Minecraft one is a lighter blue, doesn't come with a sword, doesn't have a handle for a sword, but same size, so the hangers are pretty cool uh, toys to get too because their size matches the action figures. So let's go ahead and open up our Minecraft Surprise Egg. So you can see Steve here, this is Wriggler Steve, holding the pickaxe and my Minecraft symbol that I made there. It's all made of Play-Doh. See there where I just peeled back? So let's go ahead and peel back our Play-Doh so we can see the cool toys inside. So I went ahead and put Steve on this egg and the next time 
I do a Minecraft egg, who should I put on it? I'm thinking about putting a creeper on my next Minecraft egg. If you like creepers, write creepers in the comments down below. So peeling back this Play-Doh, we can already see some really, really cool toys in there. You can see some like eggs, you can see some blind bags, you can see some Minecraft stuff in there as well. So let's open it up and take a closer look and open up all our cool stuff, see what we get. Well, it looks like a little egg fell behind our big egg here, so let's open up that toy first. So it is a Spider-Man chocolate surprise egg. So we'll go ahead and crack open this chocolate, which is really hard and brittle sometimes, and uh, makes a mess, but it's okay. It's all gonna go in my belly later. <laughs> so let's open up the little capsule here and see what we get. Oh man, look at that. We got a little Spider-Man toy. It's in a couple pieces, so let me put them together. And here's our little Spider-Man toy that was in our surpri chocolate surprise egg. Uh, pretty neat little toy, very, very small, but he's in a pretty cool pose. And for a very small toy, he has some detail, so it looks pretty cool. I'll go ahead and put Spider-Man right on the little ledge there. Oh, well, he fell. And next up we have BFF blind boxes. A lot of you have been requesting do more and more BFFs. These are really hard to find, but I have found a few more, and I'm going to do a BFF surprise egg really soon. So, let's go ahead and see what BFF we got there. So let's see our little card to see who we got. It says, you can't erase true love. And this is Maxwell plus Earl, one out of 16. So there's Earl, the magnet. And here's Maxwell, he's a tape cassette. And it says, best friends forever mix. And rock and rolla. So cassette tapes, we used to use those for music. If you can remember, we didn't have C before there were CDs and stuff, there was cassette tapes. And Earl is a magnet right there kind of attaches to him and what happens when you put a magnet too close to the cassette tape it actually erases the songs from the cassette tape it messes them up so that's why they're kind of like the best friends forever next we have a minecraft blind bag it's minecraft hangers these are series 2 hangers so we open up a few of these got a few characters got a few doubles We're trying to get some new stuff so let's see which minecraft character we're getting today and look at that, we got Alex. This is, I think, my fourth Alex. Some people have told me she's rare. Uh, I don't know if she is. I'm getting quite a few of her. But she's a really cool character, still, that you can play in Minecraft. And I'm just gonna go ahead and give her away to one of my friends. Next, we have a little blind surprise toy here. This is Zelda Phantom Hourglass. And this is really cool. This is a uh, comes with little Zelda toys inside this little capsule. So, I really like Zelda. I used to play all the video games. Uh, they have made one almost every year now, and I haven't got to play all the new ones, but I really like all the old ones. So it looks like with this toy set, there's five to collect. So there is a Link, and there's a couple other characters. So, we didn't get Link today, but who did we get? So from the game, it looks like we got Tetra, and Tetra comes in a little display stand and comes with a little accessory there. It's a little heart. So there's a closer look at our little pirate Tetra. She has a sword, and she's in a pretty cool pose. Next, we're gonna open up this Johnny Tex Collection blind bag. Series one, and there's 80 figures to collect in these blind bags. That, wow, that's a big number of toys. So I'm. This is going to be the first bag I'm going to open from this series, and I'm kind of curious to how these toys are going to look. So, let's take a look at this checklist here. And this checklist, wow, shows 80 different characters. That is a lot. I thought maybe it was just going to be a bunch of different colors of the same characters, but it's not. So, we got this green version of Johnny Test here. Very muscular, very pumped up, little radioactive symbol. Let's see who we get. According to our checklist here, it says the Incredible Test. So, this is supposed to be a play on the Incredible Hulk. Johnny Tess is the Incredible Hulk, sort of. Pretty neat. 
So next we're gonna open up another blind box. This is Art of War. This is also from Kid Robot, the same people who do BFFs. But these are more towards boy stuff. So it's all about like war and battle and stuff like that. So you get some like cool figures that has to deal with like fighting or something like that. So let's see who we get. According to our card here, well, it looks like we got the uh, the geek with the lightsaber. Um, it's Igor Ventura, according to the bottom of the foot. And this was the first one I got from this series, uh, and I haven't opened that many, so to get a double already is oh well. I had to open up a lot more and try to get some new ones. So he comes with a lightsaber, which is really neat. He's got his geek glasses and like the stars on his ears, his suspenders, and the back it says Geek Force. So pretty cool toy though because he does come with a lightsaber. Next we have Bonesies from Tokidoki. So this is a blind bag. Comes with a little Tokidoki toy from one of their series of toys and it could attach to your phone. I think it goes right into your microphone jack. So let's see who we get. Oh look at that. We got one of these like Grim Reaper characters. He's got like the little skull face with the black hoodie and on his chest there it says adios. Alright, we have another Minecraft toy. This is a blind box. This is the Grass Series 1 minifigure blind boxes. Let's see what cool character we can get here today because we've opened up a few of them, got some really, really neat characters, and pretty much almost done with the collection. So, it looks like today we got the cow. Awesome. You know, the cow provides all that meat. You're gonna have to chop him down though. We use Diamond Sword Steve here when, you know, chop that down a cow and get some meat out of him. Next we have a blind box, is at Mystery Minis. It's The Nightmare Before Christmas. I like that movie. It was, it's kind of old now, it's from a long time ago, but it's really cool. In the back of the box, there's all these different odds of the different characters that you can collect in the series. So let's see who we get. Looks like we have Oogie Boogie, who is the boogeyman in The Nightmare Before Christmas. So, according to the back of the box, we can check out his odds. It looks like he is 2 out of 24. So he's a pretty common character to get here. Not really rare or anything like that, but pretty cool. I got Jack Skellington before. So it's nice to get like a different character. Alright, now it's time for our last surprise toy. This is a Super Mario blind bag. This is 12 characters to collect. Recommended ages for 3 plus, and it says series 1 to, I guess that's a series 12. I hadn't seen series 1 to 11 before, but I found these at a specialty shop, so let's see who we get. And it looks like we got Luigi. Hey, it's a me, a Luigi. So that's really cool. Luigi was a really awesome character in all, a lot of video games. I used to like him the most in Super Mario Part 2 which uh, he had a really high jump, so he was really unique. Well, that's all the time we have today on this episode of Open More Toys. Here's both of our Time and Steve saying goodbye, and hope you give a big thumbs up by clicking the thumbs up button down below if you did like this video. Well, that's all the time we have today. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, make sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking right here on the screen so you can check out all our future videos. Well, that's all the time we have today on Open More Toys. Thanks for watching and see you next time.